With this, we've actually come up with a design for doing winter feeding on the Eden Shell Farm where we come in off of a hardened surface where we do feed off this, this farm road. We've got a natural windbreak so we can take advantage of that for protecting the cattle and better welfare, which is also going to cut down on the amount of feed that they eat. So we've got a summit position right here with well-drained soils, which we've actually changed by putting in geotextile fabric and concrete, but what we call all-weather surfaces. So we've put that in right here to basically reduce a lot of the drudgery with winter feeding of cattle but also make it easier for the cattle and make it easier for the producer as well, while at the same time, we're reducing inputs as far as the time it takes to feed, the amount of fuel it takes to feed, and we're also reducing the amount of hay it takes to feed because we got contained systems right here that actually reduce the amount of loss because they're all elevated off the ground. We're really looking forward to using this system that Dr. Higgins has put into place. Uh, we want to get a baseline kind of for these uh, feeders and how they work. We're looking forward to, we're going to track how many hay bales we put through each one of these, how fast the, the cattle eat them through each structure, uh, the cattle's preference, you know, do they have a preference of one of these feeders versus the other one, do they like the roof if it's raining, that sort of thing. So, and uh, we can come back out and see how they performed, you know, which one of them uh, needs maintenance at that point, do we need to put some more gravel down, the ones that don't have concrete, and just evaluate how they performed in general. So uh, be looking forward for that in the spring, that's something we want to invite some producers out here and follow up with in the, in the springtime.